Morning, Sam. How are you? Good. Not too good about the ironing job I did today, but good part of that. You ready for today? Always. Always. Come on, Sam. Here, nice and early. No worries, mate. I've got nothing else to do now, anyway. Right. Except from stretch. It's Danny. It's always me. Sam's a character. Anybody who's ever met Sam knows he, he's always got a smile on his face. He, he's a, just a wonderful, uh, a wonderful person and somebody that we really enjoyed having here the first time around. We were sad when he had to leave, you know, but we understood the situation and what Sam needed to, to take care of back home. And we were delighted that we were able to work with him to make it happen in a way that Sam wanted to come back here as well. Um, very excited. Um, a bit annoyed that Danny's here. But uh, apart from that, it should be a good day. Huh. Just give you a mention. A negative, a negative one. You know, off the field, I think he's going to bring just a lot of joy to our locker room. I think it's going to be a real lift for everybody. He's a he's a funny guy, you know, and I think he keeps everyone's spirits high, which is which is absolutely fantastic and much needed over the course of a of a tough long season. No, I've no time to know you know, mate. I've got pink. It's more like a pink here than it is a tan. Yeah. You guys just get pink. I'll just pink one and get it. We're really excited to have him back. Um, he's a a tremendous player and a really good person. Uh, which makes him fit in really well for our team. I mean, he hasn't been here for two years, but to be in one of our video sessions in the locker room with the team, it just felt like a good piece was back with us. And I certainly hope for him, he felt that comfort level as well. Just talk me through, how was first training? Yeah, it was good. Good to be back involved with the guys. Um, yeah, really enjoyed it. What are you most looking forward to now that you're back here? Um, getting back out onto the pitch. Are you dealing with like the altitude and stuff? Does that bother you at all? Or? Yeah, it got me a little bit. Um, and I'm sure uh, there's plenty more times where it's going to get me over the next few weeks. But yeah, definitely was a nice reminder of uh, altitude anyway today. Johnny will uh, win us everything, to be fair, I think. Johnny's the main man now, so. <laughs> Johnny, how excited are you for Sam to be back? Come on. I'm not happy. Oh, <laughs> come here. Yeah. I'm happy for He doesn't guy. mean that. For sure. <laughs> good guy, good guy, so. It's going to be good. <laughs> and there had been some mix up between the English Federation, the US Federation. I don't know exactly where it was, but it was touch and go as to whether Sam was going to be eligible for the game. As it turns out, we got his clearance hours before the game. We were able to start Sam and for him it was, or for us, it was great to see him there. Up top and making his second debut in Burgundy, it's Sam Nicholson. And it was a little bit nervy there towards the end of the day, towards kickoff. Weren't sure if he was going to be able to even be available, Brian, thanks to him getting through, getting his visa. But he is available. He's starting. It's back in Burgundy for Sam Nicholson. What does he give this side? Well, I think, you know, we talked in the open about how much energy is going to be needed here. Sam Nicholson gives you that energy. He'll give you quality on the ball. He'll put defenders on the back foot. He's a, a dangerous player that can beat people. And uh, we have a couple of wingers or a number of wingers who are dangerous one-on-one -on -one players. And guys who can beat people are worth their weight in gold because they'll eventually attract other defenders, which frees other people up. Uh, so we certainly expect Sam to be a key part of our attack going forward. Excellent ball that springs Sam Nicholson down the right-hand side. Good by, job by Sam Nicholson just to get out wide. I know the players are excited to get him back. I'm certainly looking forward to it because I know that just deep down, not only is he a good person, good character, but he's a fantastic player who's going to add to our group. Here we go then, Rubio against McMahon to make it 2-1, and he scores! And the Rapids make it 2-1, and it is game on. Looking for Bubica! Is he onside? The flag stays down for now, and as he did on Monday, Lalas Abubakar at the far post with an absolute beauty, and it is 2-2. And the Rapids grab a point on the road, something for them to build on. Yeah, yeah. Well done, pal. Thanks, Mike. Very well. Well, now we're standing. 
So I think for unified sports, it goes beyond just the sport aspect, and it's so much more to people developing into people. This allows them the opportunities to really um, gravitate towards those relationships. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good. These athletes get to sign contracts, they get to have a media day, they get to have be in the first team locker room, they get all the same gear that the team gets, they get to travel. It's just an amazing experience watching these athletes grow year after year. Good, all the best to pal. All the best to Mike. Thanks, Trace. Yeah, you good? Yeah, good, yeah, good night. On Saturday, we did a team walk, probably hands down the favorite experience of everyone, just to be walking alongside a pro Rapids player. There's not very many people who can say that they've had that experience. Are you playing forward? Yeah. First game I've been, but you're playing everywhere. You're too fast. I love seeing the professional players experience it. Many of them for the first time. They also, many of them, might not know what to expect and how just down to earth our athletes are, how amazing the partners are, and to share that experience of like, how's it going? What what are you doing today? Is really, really amazing. There is one picture that I think speaks volumes to the whole trip, and that was the Rapids Pro Team with the Rapids Unified Team and the smiles on everyone's faces, the, ways that, the way that they had their arms around each other was the most powerful message I think that we can spread um, about the work that's being done. <laughs> I'm very honored to be your team captain today and I hope everyone has a very good time. Whether you're tired or not, we don't give up. Our team never gives up. For the rabbits and we never give up. When the players were able to see that they also had a Rocky Mountain Cup, that that was a huge thing for them. It's about those little moments where we, where it's an equal playing field. It's really about celebrating being a Rapids player and having that commonality. Rapids, 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 Rapids. So after the game, um, William Yarbrough came over and he was warming up our goalkeepers. Come on, Shelby. Come on, good save. That was really amazing, uh, and I think that that meant so much to them. Will gave me this empty captain today. You guys had some beautiful shots. Let's do the same thing tonight. All right, let's go. Bring it in. Go, Daniel State. Daniel State. Rapids on three. One, two, three, Rapids! Well, we came out scoring first, so Trace took the opportunity. And then Shelby um, has never played soccer before. And so for her, she just was really shiny. There was pictures of people holding their heads or pictures of sadness, but really the biggest thing after was just wearing that medal and how proud they were to have that medal and that opportunity and to, to have Rapids players come up to them and say, you played amazing. That's really the biggest takeaway, the opportunity to get to do it as opposed to the result. Um, so many lessons learned. It's all pretty remarkable. I'm excited for the rest of my season because I can hang out with the rest of my teammates and make good memories and win some more. My hope is that when people think about the Colorado Rapids, that it's synonymous in their minds with Special Olympics and our Rapids Unified team. We want to be an inclusive club, and I think that this program really helps us embody that. I can't speak <laughs> volumes enough of how much it means to them because it is really just a chance of a lifetime for them to recognize not only their self-worth, but for other people to recognize their self-worth. You can't reenact this opportunity or this situation for them.